So you want to shred in Modern Warfare 3, but you're not sure what are the best weapons, what are the best perks, what should your class setup look like? Well, that is what this video is for. We're going to be going over the five best classes, weapons, secondaries, perks, and everything you need to know to be set up to get in game and do your absolute best. Now, everything that we're going to be looking at here is Modern Warfare 3 weapons. From what I've seen, they're pretty much the best weapons anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through all of the weapons, show you the attachments on them, which is probably the most important part and going to be the majority of the video. Go over all of the perks. And there's also going to be one bonus class at the end that I don't think is quite meta in Modern Warfare 3, but it is a lot of fun to use. You'll see what I mean when we dive into that. So without further ado, let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is my basic class. As far as my classes go, I use the demolition vest. Now, the reason why I use the demolition vest is because it resupplies your equipment every 25 seconds. And I like to use stims, as you're going to see here, because it is the fastest way to get health back. I find health regeneration rather slow in this game. So I use this. It also gives you an extra lethal. And the lethal that I use is the breacher drone. Semtex and drill charge are both good as well, or throwing knives if you're into that kind of thing but breacher drone i find that i can use it in the most use cases i can throw it down a hallway and it gives me time to reload put rechange my position things like that because enemies are afraid of it i really highly recommend using breacher drone if you haven't already as far as field upgrade goes i pretty much always use munitions box because i don't use scavenger if i run out of ammo i like to have that it's the best one another good one is portable radar but to me munitions box is the way to go as far as our perks go these are pretty much going to be the exact same on all of my classes for our gloves, we are going to be using the Marksman Gloves. This reduces your flinch and idle sway while aimed down sights. It makes it way easier to aim. Very good. I just don't really like any of the other gloves. I don't find that they really do anything that great. So Marksman Gloves are the way that I go. As far as our booty, we like to use the Covert Sneakers. As far as I'm concerned, everyone is going to be using Covert Sneakers. Footsteps are very loud in this game, and when you use Covert Sneakers, it completely gets rid of them altogether. And then the final one, the gear, this is probably what has the best kind of things in it. I use Ghost. A lot of people are using UAVs. Stay off the radar. As you're going to see when we look through our loadouts, you can choose to be sneaky with these classes or you don't have to be. It's not going to make too big of a difference. You just have to make one change to each class. But personally, I like to use Ghost. Another good one is Bone Conductor. However, with everyone using Covert Sneakers, this is kind of pointless because it really doesn't make it easier to hear those footsteps whatsoever with those Covert Sneakers on. So really, the one I use here is Ghost. Now, on every single one of my classes, I have the same secondary weapon. The secondaries are all kind of similar. It doesn't really matter which one you use. However, I am the most consistent with the Renetti. As far as what I use on this Renetti, it is the same on every single one. We have the FJX DIOD 70 laser. Now, as far as this one goes, the laser is visible while aimed down sights, but I'm not walking around with this weapon aimed down sights. The reason why I use this is because it vastly improves your aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. And the ADS and sprint to fire speed are the most important with secondary because I'm only ever pulling this thing out if I run out of ammo or if the enemy sneaks up on me, that kind of thing, and I need to pull out a weapon real quick. Second thing that I'm using is the MLX short competition barrel. This one is once again going to improve your sprint to fire speed, move speed, and aim down sight speed. As far as recoil goes on this thing, I'm only using it up close, so bad recoil isn't too bad for me. This is an interesting one. I'm using the overpressured rounds. Now, the reason why I'm using this is because most of the time when I pull out my pistol, it's a last ditch effort. An enemy's coming up, I'm out of ammo or I'm switching weapons and I am going to be at a disadvantage. If I can put them at a disadvantage by hitting them with a little bit more flinch, that is the best case scenario. So that's why I use this one. However, you could also use pretty much anything else here. You could use high grain rounds for a little extra damage or damage range or high velocity if you want some more bullet velocity. But this is the one that I like for my use case. The next thing is the Bruin MG82 trigger. This one is going to reduce idle sway and improve your fire rate, which is sweet. It's making it have a faster time to kill. And then finally, our grip, we're going to have the pistol fast drop. This is probably the most important on this because again, I'm using this in the last ditch effort. Uh, tax stance spread is improved and sprint to fire speed. Again, probably the most important on this one. That is the breakdown of pretty much every single one of my classes. I'm using a variation or if not the exact same thing that you are seeing there. Then where it gets different is our primary weapon. So the first weapon that we have here is the MCW. This gun you are going to want to use at long range. It doesn't have the best time to kill in the game. It takes a little extra bullet to kill or time than other weapons we're going to look at here. However, what makes up for it 
is that this gun has no recoil. It's almost jarring how little recoil this class and this class setup has with the attachments that we're going to use. It almost feels like there should be recoil and there just isn't any at all. So in this game, this is by far the easiest weapon to use. Now, as far as the attachments I'm using on here, the MK3 reflector, it's the optic I use on every single weapon. It doesn't take up much of your screen. It's simply a red dot that plane, that simple on almost every weapon we're going to look at today, you're going to see the MK3 reflector. As far as the stock goes, I am using the RB Regal heavy stock. Reason being recoil control and gun kick control. Having both of those two together, if we have a look at the details, it improves your vertical and horizontal recoil. And on most weapons, the horizontal recoil is the one that is going to cause you problems. The next one that we are using is the 16.5 MCW Cyclone long range barrel. This one bullet velocity, Again, we're using this at long range, so that's why it's important. Uh, idle sway, that in helps you with your aim as well. And firing aim stability. Again, just making this thing super, super accurate. Then we have the Bruin Heavy support grip. As far as this one goes, again, gun kick control, horizontal recoil. That's the one that's going to be the pain on most weapons. Idle sway and firing stability. And then finally, we just have simply recoil control on the FTAC Castle Comp. You do lose a little aim down sight speed, and I don't really think think you need this recoil control so this is what i was talking about before if you want to be sneaky there are a ton of really good options that you can use for suppressors if you just want to be suppressed you can use the shadow strike which is just going to keep you off the radar not improve anything if you need more recoil control you can use something like this the vt7 spitfire suppressor the options are endless and really with all of the classes we're going to use today, they all have barrels on them. If you want to be sneaky, just throw in one of the suppressors. Coming in at number four, we have the WSP Swarm. Now, as far as SMGs go currently in this game, they're all outclassed by assault rifles. A lot of the assault rifles are still really good up close and the range on the SMGs isn't very good. So when it comes to this weapon, you want to use this thing up close and personal. What this weapon makes up for it is it's an absolute bullet hose. So yes, you're not going to have a lot of range. If the enemy is far, it's going to take a ton of bullets. But with the way that we have this design, the recoil isn't too bad and we have a lot of bullets in it and you just want to be getting around as fast as possible, as close as possible. Think of this almost as like a shotgun. However, you get a lot of follow-up bullets as well. So as far as the attachments we're using on here, the first one is the 50 round mag just to have more bullets in your mag. We're running around like chickens with our heads cut off with this weapon. So you want to have more bullets so you're not just stuck reloading all the time because if you don't have that, you go through bullets like crazy, you're going to be reloading all the time. After this, we have the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. This is for sprint to fire, aimed on sight speed. It improves your vertical recoil and gun kick controls. It does, however, make your horizontal recoil worse, but... With this weapon, we're going to be close enough to enemies where recoil isn't going to be too big of a deal. However, we do have this attachment here, the WSP Reckless. As far as this one goes, it improves your recoil and gun kick control. And this is what's going to give you that little extra range to help you win those gun flights in the mid range. This isn't going to work at long range, just straight up. After this, we have the VLK 7 megawatt laser. This one has aiming stability, but more importantly, aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Now, the laser is visible when aimed down sights, so just don't go around aiming down sights all the time. Like I said, you want to be fast and mobile with this class anyway, so seeing that laser when you're aimed down sights is not a big deal. They're already going to have seen you before that. And then finally, we have our stock. This one is the FSS Fortress Heavy Stock. This is where you're making up that gun kick and recoil control. Tax stance spread, if you're using tax stance, I don't really. And then firing aim stability as well. Now, this is just another class setup, as you're seeing here with the CCT comms vest. This one, I add in the bone conductor headset and you don't get your lethals and tacticals. However, you are going to get radar pings when you kill enemies, things like that. I prefer the demolitions vest. I just thought I would show you this one as well. Now, as far as this class goes, we are using the longbow. Now, this is a quick scope class and is a little bit more difficult to use than the other two classes that we looked at. You got to be good at sniping, but if you hit your shots from basically the chest up, it's always going to be a one shot kill if you hit your shots and you can aim down sights and move around very, very quickly with this class. However, if you are not hitting that upper body or the enemy is really far away and you're not hitting headshots, it's not going to work. So you're going to want to be mobile with this one and you're going to want to hit your shots. But if you do, this thing is a beast. So as far as what we are using on here, the FSS OLEV laser, incredibly important, faster ADS, faster sprint to fire. That's pretty much what we're doing on everything here. What we are going to make up with is some bullet velocity and damage range. This is going to be the high grain rounds. We're also going to be using the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. We've seen this one before. Again, 
improves sprint to fire speed and aimed on sight speed. As far as the recoil control goes, you don't need it. This is a sniper rifle. Just hit your shots. Now, this is the one that you could potentially change on this weapon, and it is the rear grip. So this is the Demo 650 grip. Improved aimed on sight speed by a lot. However, you have a lot of flinch resistance. And if you find that you have too much flinch when getting shot at, you can switch it out for this one. It's not as improved ADS speed, but you do have a faster sprint to fire speed. However, if we look at our stats, our sprint to fire is already so much faster on this weapon than our ADS speed, which means the attachment of the demo works out better because it's going to reduce our ADS speed more, making it closer to that sprint to fire speed. Finally, no stock. This thing is awesome. This is really what makes the class sprint to fire speed and way improved movement speed, which is going to be very important. Now, getting into what I believe are the best weapons in the game. First off, this one I think is going to go under the radar a little bit just because it has a little bit more recoil, but with this class setup, it does not have a lot of recoil. So this is the MTZ 556. And as far as this weapon goes, it is not good at long range. It's not going to work at long range like the MCW or the number one weapon is going to. However, at short and mid range, this outguns like every SMG. The time to kill is amazing. The movement and handling on this weapon is absolutely amazing. And because of the attachment that we use, really good recoil. So first off, our muzzle. So this one, we are using the Komodo Heavy to improve massively that horizontal recoil. This weapon does have a lot of horizontal recoil, so we're going to counteract that and vertical recoil. It's going to make our ADS speed worse. However, the ADS speed on this gun is really good and we're going to make up for it a little bit. Now, if you do want to use a suppressor, I don't believe that there's any that work directly on horizontal recoil, but there's lots with recoil control that are going to have improved horizontal recoil. And then of course, with this, you're going to appear off the map as well. So that's an option if you want to be a little bit more sneaky. We also have the MTZ clinch pro barrel, improved bullet velocity. That's going to help us a bit at range. Damage range, same thing. Aiming idle sway, you need that on this weapon. You're going to see that a couple times. And the reason why we're using this one is because the cons on it aren't bad at all. Hip fire and tack stance spread is wider. I don't use those really with this weapon at all anyway. So it's a really great trade off. Uh, the Bruin Heavy support grip, I believe we've seen this one before. This is our gun kick control horizontal recoil. This is the attachment that makes this thing a laser beam. We also have our rear grip, which is for where we're going to make up our aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed with the rival ace grip. And again, the MK3 reflector. And then our best class. This thing is insane. I really can't say it any other way. The DG58 right now is the best weapon in the game. It is not even close, and I'm willing to bet within the next week or two this thing is getting nerfed. So use it while you can. This thing has essentially no recoil. It has such fast burst delay that your follow-up shots are just so quick. And on top of that, it packs a punch. You can get one burst kills at a very good distance. And we are going to improve that with our class setup of this. So as far as the barrel goes, this is where we're going to make up a lot of our recoil with the X10 ported 290. This has improved vertical and horizontal recoil with a little bit slower ADS, but it doesn't really matter on this weapon. Just, I really can't stress this enough. This gun is just amazing. Then we have the DG56 LS18 barrel. This is going to be gun kick control and improve our range and bullet velocity as well as recoil control. Again, you can see how much more accurate this thing makes you. Then we have the X10 Phantom Handstop. We've seen this one before. This is going to make up our sprint to fire and ADS with the simple train of a little bit ho more horizontal recoil. But this gun doesn't have a lot of horizontal recoil, so not a big deal whatsoever. At the back, we have the comb. This one is going to be gun kick control and aiming idle sway. Idle sway is a little bit worse on this weapon, so this makes up for that. And then again, once again, the MK13 Reflector. I will tell you, this is the best weapon in the game. It is so, so good. You're going to see everyone using this weapon until it's nerfed, and I'm guessing it's going to be soon. So get it while it's hot. Use this thing. You guys are going to love it. Then we have the bonus class. This one is just for fun. I don't think it's meta, but I wanted to give it to you guys because it's pretty fun and pretty ridiculous. But we have the Lockwood 680. I'm using drill charges instead of my drones. Um, but as far as this gun goes, you are going to very consistently be getting one-shot kills, at least up close. Problem with this gun, it's the range. Like, you're not going to have good range whatsoever. It's a shotgun. And the maps in Modern Warfare 2 don't really play into shotguns too well. So that's why this is a meta. But again, it is fun. I'm not going to go too far in depth with this one. The attachments that I use are the Bryson Choke, 
the Lockwood Defender, the Guard, which I cannot pronounce, but we'll call it the X-Ray Skeletonized Guard. We also use the Sawed Off mod for the stock. And finally, the Express Light Bolt for faster rechain ring speed. If they add shipment into this game, this gun will break shipment. So that's all I will say about this one. It's a ton of fun to use. Just a little bonus in there for you guys. So I tried to get through that as quickly as possible. Hopefully this was able to help you out. Hopefully this gives you some really good classes to use. I truly believe these are the best weapons with the best attachments with the best perks. And I think you're going to notice that as soon as you start to use these things. That MCW has no recoil. Our burst action rifle is going to get nerfed. So use these things while you can. Hopefully it helped you out. If you enjoy these type of videos, hit that like button. I can do more videos like this. But if you enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, all of that kind of jazz. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Peace. We are, we are reaching for the stars.